Hi guys, welcome back to your daily tarot cards. These are your daily tarot cards for Wednesday, July 1st. I'm just trying to adjust this without it falling. <laughs> One second. July 1st, 2021. I just wanted to make sure I moved it without falling. I'm having a lot, having a lot of issues with uh, the, the um, phone falling off the tripod. So we are pulling from the annual tarot deck and we're welcoming this new cycle of July, a new beginning. Um, from this reading, it's, it's so beautiful. Honestly, it looks like July is going to be a positive cycle for us after this crisis, after our brothers and sisters that are been killed by violence um, unnecessarily. So I love this. So if you look up 2021, if you look, you put 2021 together, no space, number meaning, you will see that it's telling you to have faith in the divine, that you are on the right path to trusting them that, that, you know, in the future, they will like right now in the future, they will guide you to where you need to be. You know, sometimes we go through some, some struggles and they're saying that's course correction. So it's like, you know, 2021 is telling you to have faith in the divine. We will, and you will end up where we need to be. So our first card is Renewal. I love the raccoons in this. It's like a happy family. They're in the sanctuary of their home. It's just a beautiful card. I absolutely love it. So personal transformation, reevaluation, life review, making cha changes, letting go of the past, curiosity, and problem solving. Raccoons present, repre sorry, raccoons present themselves when they're taking inventory of your life. You know where you've been. You know where you are. The question is, then becomes, where are you going? Get clarity about your life's purpose and making important changes with, um, will ensure that on, ensure you're on the, the most divinely suited, suited to you. So 2021 totally comes together saying, trust the divine. It, it, it may be a time to let go of your current ways of life or even certain people whose values no longer match your spiritual calling. So, you know, very much this has been a common theme for the past, I would say, three weeks of le purging things in our life, letting go of things that no longer resonate with us. And this includes people, individuals, environments, bad habits. Forgive uh, what has been and embrace what to uh, embrace what's to come without judgment. Raccoons are full of adorable curiosity, intelligence, and they exhibit fierce loyalty to others in their group. They're also very good at problem solving, extremely adaptable, and always ready to explore life, which makes them a perfect symbol for the exploration of what's next in your life for you. So maybe you feel like that calling, like, okay, we've kind of outgrown this house. We need to start looking for something else. Fear is holding you back. It's time to, you know, quit smoking. It's time to quit drinking. It's time to, you know, whatever this bad habit that they're talking about, maybe, you know, whatever is holding us back, you know, they're saying, you know, it's time to let go of that and let, you know, universe got your back, you know, 2021 together, number meaning, no space, check it out, trust in the divine that they are guiding you to where you need to be. So now we're going on to the world, the sheepdog, the joy of life, faithfulness, knowing your purpose and where you're going, successful solving pro successfully solving problems, job well done. Congratulations, you did it. You made it through the challenges. You have mastered the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. Now the possibilities before you are endless. You could start back at the beginning again or create something totally new so it feels like july is our reset button we've been in pause and now they're saying we can either unpause and you know finish where we where we where we at continue moving forward or we could start something all brand new a lot of people have started new careers during this because they're like Obviously, I've been laid off or I've been completely fired. Like, I've seen that with, you know, one person that I know, my best friend, where some people were completely fired and some people were laid off. And it's just like they totally dismissed them in their time of need. It's like they needed their insurance, just God forbid, if anyone in their family had, you know, had COVID, they would need their insurance to cover those medical expenses. And when they needed their job the most to cover it with their insurance, because they've been working to the bone 16 hours, you know, all summer, all this, you know, craziness. And when a crisis hits, they're no, nowhere to be found. And they're just like, you know what? It ain't even worth my time anymore. 
you have won the blue ribbon of life. So they're telling you whatever you've done during this pause, during this, you know, is come, it, it, you've done it. We see the green wreath around the sheepdog, meaning that victory is yours. We see the dog on the pillar. So we've made the right choices. We have Saturn in, uh, in return. All of our positive karma is coming back to us. Or your karma is coming back to you till September 29th. Karma is very much in play right now. Dogs in general represent loyalty, playfulness, and unconditional love. However, different breeds exhibit different traits. Sheepdogs are known for their great intelligence, beauty, and sense of humor, along with the, the uh, pressing need to have a job, quote-unquote, which is equal, e equated to the human need for a life purpose. That job might be joyful, um, herding sheep or goats, uh, um, training, working as service animals, or securing, often very vocally, their home. When you show the same enthusiasm in fulfilling your own divine aspirations that this the Shetty has for her work, you are sure to have a, a standout success. So it's kind of like, you know, giving into your stronger qualities here. So we have the Eight of Summer here. Eight is Prosperity. Eight is also the month of August. So this may be something, this might be pertaining to August that something is coming up. So this may be for July and August, or it could just mean prosperity. Time to move on. The search for meaning in life, taking the next leap, the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. It's time to move on. No one is pushing you, but you know in your heart that there has to be more to life than what you're living. You're ready to go. You may be moving on from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you've been drawn to something that would make you very very happy. So in my situation, I needed to move here because we were in a place that was not good for us. There was mold, there was mice, it was making us ill. And it was like, you know, now we're, you know, now I feel like we've outlived this situation and now it's time to move forward. You know, we are very thankful that we ha we've we had the security and the peace and the calm that we needed, you know, to heal ourselves after the loss of, you know, um, my late husband. But it's like, now it's time to move forward. Now it's to see what, what's the next chapter in our life. So maybe you feel like you need to move from your location, move on from a relationship, move on from a bad habit. The beautiful thing is that you are in control and the choice of what is happening next is yours. And very much going for what I went through because we had to move two provinces, everything was taken out of my hands. It was out of my control. You know, and people put put made this a thousand times harder than it should have been. But... You know, karma, karma, karma. There's something amazing waiting for you, so go ahead, take the leap. Kangaroos are known for their ability to bounce great distances. In a dangerous situation, they are uh, they can spring away from safety without planning where they're headed. They can be an um, an allergy for the aid of summer as well. Sometimes you just know it's time to go, even when you're not quite sure where you're going. You'll figure it out when you get there. Kangaroos are very curious. So, you know, the three of them, you know, curious animals. And always in motion. It's time for you to fiercely move forward in your life. And then our last card is the star, which is the Oriole. So the Oriole is predicting in two weeks' time we'll see something. So this is for July 1st. So July 14th, 15th, you may see some something happen in your life that, you know, that will help us, like, with the eight of summer. It's time to move forward, you know, so that time frame, maybe you'll see something happen to that aspect. Faith, the end of challenging times, happiness, optimism, and hope. Orioles are signs of good fortune and promise. They arrive in as an indicator that the challenges that you have been going through are coming to an end. In their place, you will discover a reassurance of optimism that you may have fe have not felt for some time. Worry is dispelled by positivity. Excuse me. Fear by hope. Joy has come home to roost. The Oriole is a beautiful bird said to bring sunshine back into your life. Its vivid orange color, colors symbolize a bright future and much, much better things to come. It's time to turn away from what worried you, instead looking forward to a positive transformation. Because the eggs of Orioles hatch are in around 14 days, the birds can indicate that happy changes will occur within two weeks. 
So the 14th or the 15th. I'm even seeing the 16th. So give it a three-day three, three uh, day window there. The Orioles ask you to sing a happy tune and expect only the happiest of outcomes. So as we move forward, we're being unpaused from the crisis. You know, obviously still, you know, be safe, sanitize your hands and, you know, wear your masks where need be. But it's like, you know, we're either you're going to unpause from this and continue on where you had left life off or you're going to start something brand new. Maybe you have started a new career and you're going to see the fruits of that labor. Like, you know, you're going to see like, you know, even in a crisis, the new career that you've taken on will still withstand the test of time. So I hope you guys enjoy these daily tarot cards for Wednesday, July 1st, 2020. And I hope and pray that July is just this beautiful season for all of us. They're saying a rebirth for all of us and that we can move forward with positivity and happiness. We'll see you guys for the next one.